I need someone to explain this to me because this fruit doesn't make any sense. I mean bananas. Why they are seedless and why they are everywhere, every house, every supermarket, every smoothie, and yet they never run out. And why they are the most common fruit on earth. And how does something can't even reproduce itself? Like, they are seedless. I mean, the whole point of fruit is to help a plant to grow, right? Fruit tastes good. And then animals or human, we eat fruit. And then we take the seed and drop it somewhere. And the plant grow. And then, so there's the seed grow new plant. A new plant make new fruit. That's the circle of life. But bananas and all these seedless fruit seem to forget their purpose in life. They are seedless. No seeds in sight. So, the question is, how they are even keep existing? Are they just copy paste of each other? Like, I mean, are they just copies of copies and we never taste the original taste of bananas or all these seedless fruit like oranges, cucumbers, grapes. What's going on there? There's something really wrong. I think we are really messing with God or with mother nature, whatever you believe in. But there's something, there's something we are doing it wrong here because if we just went extinct or human disappear, all this seedless fruit will just go, disappear. Right? One of definition of life in biology is to be able to reproduce, right? So are they even alive? And maybe that's why iPhone logo should be bananas, not Apple, since they are just both copies of the same shit. iPhone just make the same iPhone every year, just add new price to it, right? All these iPhones are the same, like from iPhone 12, iPhone 13, 14, and so on, all the same.